Yeah, man, that's set. Uh, it's amazing because that's at the uh, you know the Penn and Teller Theater uh, where I, you know, have, have watched them do their show several times, and it's such a trip to uh, be standing in their space in their house performing, you know, for for them. Uh, it was it was very surreal. It was one of those things where it's like I I I'm gonna watch this with only the vaguest uh, vaguest recollection <laughs> recollection of this actually happening. It was all like a dream. Hey, look, it's me. Great. Whoa, look. Hey, I'm Brian Brushwood from Austin, Texas. Man, I tour with a punk rock magic show. A third of my show is 100% real. I really do eat fire. I really do hammer and nail my nose. But at some point, the show secretly transitions. It's oh, not dude, that was a big old booger. Nice. That people realize, wait a minute, it's a magic show. I remember being in second grade when I saw Penn and Teller's first magic show. I had never seen magic be cool before, and it blew me away. I can honestly say that if there was no Penn and Teller, there would be no Brian Brushwood. This is my Whoa. chance to honor the people who made me the magician I am today. Oh, right on. So they didn't, uh, they didn't, they didn't go with any of the scam school stuff. Right off the top. But they did show that awesome booger. Bl- booger. <laughs> who's willing to do absolutely anything, who's my guy? <laughs> wait, 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 you're screaming, what's your name? Sean. Sean, get on up here. Let's make some noise for Sean as he comes up here. They needed somebody hot to open the show with, man. They uh, chose you. That's right. <laughs> they, uh, they, uh, it's probably no surprise that there's uh, a brief moment that they have to, uh, uh, might come up. Is it going over? crimes, it involves money. You got $3,001 bills to pick from. Reach in there, pick any stack you want. You happy with that one? You want to change your mind? Last chance. Okay, good. Do me a favor. I want you to riffle through the front of that stack. Make sure all the serial numbers are different. Everything look good? Yep. Perfect. Hold it in your hand with the backs on top. I want you to pull off the top bill, just like so. And hold on to that one. That one's yours. The rest I want you to give to these gentlemen, which my lawyer promised me is not technically a bribe. Just toss that on over there. <laughs> I, uh... Thank you. I never got that back. <laughs> they, they, they literally kept uh, the remaining cash. Over the back of that bill, right over the O N E on there. Neatness counts. Make sure it's nice and small. Every vanish has four fundamental characteristics. You have to have an object selected, identified, lost, and then found. We've selected a single dollar bill. We are identifying it with your name printed on it. Now we're going to go a step farther with the serial number. I want this half of the audience to remember the first half. Read the first half of the serial number nice and loud to these guys. G0310. Say it back. G0310. Remember Good that. Audience. Second half for these guys. 9213E. 9213E. Perfect. Sean, I want you to fold that uh, with the serial numbers on the inside. Fold it in half, and then I want you to fold it in half a second time. I like and then our finally chat fold room it in half one more room. time so Wait, you have a nice that? little square. The chat room is doing the serial number. Oh, that's they look great. Good? And square one eighth of a bill. Perfect. Boom. <laughs> Two aspects done. Have an object selected and identified. This is where stuff gets interesting. We are going to vanish your bill. Now, here's the thing if you believe in magic, what you are witnessing is an astonishing vanish in which your bill is vanishing into a magical puff of plasma. If you don't believe in magic, you're witnessing a violation of Title 18, Section 333, punishable by up to $100 fine and six months in prison. <laughs> Perfect. Now, uh, it's still there though, right? We got the ashes, so I'm gonna chop this up like I'm a messed out Rachel Ray. There we go. I'm gonna move these right inside there. Everything's looking good to me. Now we get to the most important part. Sean, do you prefer applesauce or chocolate pudding? Chocolate pudding. Dude, man of my own heart. Here we go, we're gonna grab this. We'll just go to the... Oh, that's lovely. There we go. I'm gonna mix this up here. And uh, some people think I'm doing like a magic ashes switcheroo, to which I say, that's dumb. Uh, okay, do, uh, do me a favor, just taste that, taste it. <laughs> Tastes fine, right? Nothing weird? Yeah, do me a favor, polish that off. Something amazing is gonna happen. The faster you eat that, the louder they cheer. Watch. <laughs> that's my favorite aspect of this routine is there's no way for him to say no at that moment. It's like, yeah, right. checkmate, sucker. <laughs> what are you going to do? Double dog, dare you. We've you. had an item selected, identified, and I would say very thoroughly lost. I think we could agree, Sean, that at this point it would be extraordinarily difficult for me to retrieve your dollar bill. <laughs> yep, <laughs> definitely. 
I want you to walk around. I want you to rock around to the front of this gurney, plant your butt right here. You're going to put your head down at this end, your feet down at the other end, which sort of happens by default. There we go. And I want you to take a deep breath and pull your shirt all the way up to your chest. All right. Hello, ladies. Right on. <laughs> Unfortunately, relax, relax, relax. You're flexing. Yeah. In fact, I want you to rest your arms right there on top. When they flex, Perfect. it's it's hard to uh, to uh, really get that good looking effect. Water's a little bit cold. <laughs> <laughs> you made it make it harder to cut through the muscle. Yes, weird. sorry, that's what I that's what I meant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get inside. There we go. That can't be good. <laughs> Grab a little bit of nice crowd react. That's weird. Wait, why would you? Oh no! Wait, 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 Sean. <laughs> If you look inside the uh, 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 balloon, there's something in there. Do me a favor. I want you to, I want you to pinch a that there. I'm going to try to cut this out. Actually, I just want to do that. There. there we go. That's, that's yours to keep. Uh, Sean, first of all, do you guys remember the first half of the serial number? G0310. G0310. What's the second half? Close enough for me, finally, Sean. Can you verify? Is that your name printed in the middle of the bill? That's my name. Let's hear it for Sean. He absolutely swept it. Fantastic job there, buddy. Ooh. Yeah, man, that that, uh, that tightened up very nicely. That's great. Show it, everyone. Show it, everybody. Last one. Last one. Thank you. Well, that was incredible. Uh, where did you study medicine? Because uh, that was yeah, quite something. The, the Philippines, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I don't know how you did this, but I think I now know how Penn lost all that weight. That's right. Uh, <laughs> so the guys are deliberating now. Uh, Penn and Teller are talking about what they've just seen and whether they know how it's done. How confident do you feel about falling in Ah, uh, On a scale of one to ten? Yeah. Uh, negative five. <laughs> I just want to make them smile. They're smiling right now. Well, that's the worst smile I've ever seen in one <laughs> Looking over at Penn and Teller, I can see they've come to the end of their deliberation, so I'm going to phone out to Penn and find out how well you did. Penn, what do you have to say? We are huge fans before you even came out here, and the bribe did not wow. hurt. Uh, we did psychic surgery, which is what you were doing there, on Conan O'Brien's show, and Teller did the moves to reach in and pull the stuff out of Conan's stomach, and... Uh, I think you did it better. <laughs> That's the moment of unbridled delight. We also uh, we have a pretty good idea of the serial number. We don't want to give away too much there. Sure. But you used a technique at the very end to have him verify the bill. Sure. That is one of my favorite techniques in magic. Could you have made it work with uh, your name as well? Or was just Sean's name? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I mean, some people want to see the bill after, after, after I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and are you happy you're convinced they know what they talk about? They know what you know that oh, we they, don't necessarily know. They know that know, I know that they know that we all know. That's well, as long as you know that, then I know that you're happy <laughs> to know that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it was a great act, wasn't it? <laughs> Mr. Brian, oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> That was, uh, uh, that was really great. That's wonderful, So Brian. did you win? A uh, little trivia point. You know who their consultant was for the Conan O'Brien and who developed that with them? No way! Was that was that you? That was you. I, that was me. I was rehearsed that. I was literally thrown over the top of a laundry basket and had them practice on me with blood everywhere. On I had to go do it in my underwear because it's wearing khakis. I mean, it was uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> Oh, that's that's it was amazing. with a ring. It was the with a ring? But yeah, it was. Oh, uh, that's great, ring. man. Yeah, I think yeah. that's that's it for my part. We could we could jump in wonderfully. Jump straight into wonderful. spoiler wait, in time. Yeah, so wait, hold on. You were you were tight. Uh, the trick went off. You got a compliment from freaking Penn. They're fans of you, Brian. That's, yeah, fans. That's what he says right. Yeah, we are fans. You did it better. Came out of his mouth. Oh, here, come on in. Bonnie's got a live reaction. She's locked out though. Right Iggy now. Pop, Lenny Bruce, Brian Brushwood, we, things that <laughs> Penn's fans of. Right. Uh, uh, that's huge. So before we like restart spoiler in time, I want to I want to know like seeing it live. Uh, oh, dude, yeah, no, it's it's. Uh, uh, in fact, you can see it. Uh, the, there was a previous performance I, we did at one of the big dig shindigs uh, at Stubbs Barbecue, which originally it was done with a uh, with a playing card, 
And when they asked me to do the show, they're all like, you do whatever you want. Uh, please, no card tricks, though, because we have so many card tricks. And I was like, I was like, oh, I'll just do it with a dollar bill, thinking, uh, thinking like, oh, that'll be easy. And then, and then I thought through the method in order to make the method work. Uh, I, it took a lot of preparation <laughs> when, in order to give them three thousand bills to choose from. There had to be a lot of preparation. You had to memorize all those serial numbers. Yeah, right? sure, yeah. sure. Uh, what did what did you think, Bon? It was my favorite TV performance you've ever done. I oh, loved that's it. great. I loved it. Uh, I thought the magic was presented well. It was cool looking backdrop. And then uh, Teller's face was full of like Papa pride. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like that was just too adorable. I loved it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. And what, well, and, and the, one of the biggest things I was pleased, I'm so glad that I thought in advance the type of questions they would say and how I could dodge them without appearing defensively, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it was great. I mean, I'm really happy with how it came out. That was amazing. So so in the end, is the point them admitting whether you fooled them or not? Is that that the the the, the gist of the show? Well, uh, the objective conceit is they try to figure it out. And there are some people where it's like, well, we think you did it that way. And then they're like, no, it's actually this other way. And then meanwhile, Johnny Thompson is in their ear because he, 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 you know, works with everyone beforehand. So he knows exactly how it's done. And Johnny Thompson up in the booth is like, uh, yeah, no, that's not how they did it. And then they come out and they give you a little plastic trophy. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I went into it knowing for a fact that there was no way I was going to fool them. Um, but, uh, but I, I was thrilled that that was what I got to showcase given, uh, you know, given the fact that I, I thought it was one of the most in-brand TV friendly things I could have done and, and it worked out. And so uh, the, the way I've heard Penn describe it is they want to do a magic special, but then have little moments of the way magicians would talk to each other with respect backstage at uh you know at a magic convention or whatever you know yeah, yeah speaking yeah. in code where it's like oh i really like you know the way you use that or combine that effect with this other thing um and uh I, I, you know it seems you know like they're super respectful to magicians and if you you know uh if you are a magician and have the opportunity i i highly recommend it i i know technically it's just a competition reality show but for me it was it was it was a lot of fun and it was a chance to you know go to dad's house and put on a show for him in person that's literally the first time he had ever gotten to see me live yeah so it was pretty cool i know it was great it was so wonderful great. brian <laughs> awesome yeah you nailed it man that was awesome